We do two things. We make bushings and we make pins. We just do it very, very well. So what's the advantage between a Connex pin versus a roll pin? As the teeth touch on one side, it's gonna give you a tighter seating in the housing. A roll pin can eventually vibrate itself out just based on its general nature, whereas this is actually giving an extra force. We call it a tangential force. Hi, I'm Howard from Connex. We manufacture spring pins and spring bushings. A lot of people use dowel pins, which is a solid pin, or a roll pin. A roll pin is basically just coiled, real thin steel. The advantages are, as the teeth touch on one side, it's going to give you a tighter seating in the housing. A roll pin can eventually vibrate itself out, just based on its general nature. It doesn't, it doesn't have that extra force pushing it in, so it, it's just in there. Whereas this is actually giving an extra force, we call it the tangential force, that the teeth will bite into each other and then press into the housing and that creates a tighter force inside the housing to give you a tighter seating capacity. For the bushings, it's gonna make it wear less, it's gonna make it sit, hot, sit tighter. For the pins, it's gonna make it so it doesn't vibrate out in certain applications where you've got a lot of motion, a lot of movement. These are gonna hold their place much better than a standard roll pin or even a solid pin. So you get the advantages of everything you need. You're going to use it in any kind of vibrating equipment. You've got, I had some people stop by today that manufacture uh, air paint guns and they're using them as fasteners there. This is actually some of the tooling from our machines, from our presses. And we, you can see that we're using our spring pins in there to hold the pieces together. If the holes don't line up perfectly, our pins will still align them up. You use a solid dowel pin, it's not going to line it up. And you basically have to scrap hundreds of dollars worth of tooling Whereas, you just put one of our pins in there and you're good to go, you can still use it. Because of the spring steel we use, we use one material, it's an AISI 6150 spring steel. Uh, it's very specialized, it's hardened between 44 and 52 on the Rockwell C. In Switzerland, they can do some work with stainless steel. This is the only material we use. It is a patented design. Um, there are people who have tried to copy they have tried to replicate it. They don't really equal what we have. Um, that's why we are, we're growing, we're increasing our volume. These are made right outside, right behind my office in Fairview, PA. Uh, we are an ISO 9001-2015 certified company. So we, we take quality and customer service very, very seriously. So the difference between a regular pin and a ground pin is a ground pin gives you that perfectly smooth ground outside 360 degrees. It's perfectly round. This piece was actually custom made for the railroad industry for their braking mechanism, where precision has to be taken into account. Most industries, it can be slightly off roundness and still be functional. Uh, a bushing or a pin, if it's just being used to hold things together. We can go as small as a pin that you drop it on the ground, you're not finding it without a magnet, to a pin that is big enough up to five and a half inch OD that is for your massive cranes, construction equipment, and mining equipment. So the best way to get more information is stop by our booth at any show or just contact us and we'll gladly send you out my business card, which is also a sample. So you will be able to have a visual of not only who I am, but what our teeth are like. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.